40 years ago, you were a professional surveyor going to Shenzhen, helping with land reform and urban planning of the city. What were your thoughts at that time? It's, um, it's a very impressive uh, experience, uh, being able to participate in the early stages of Shenzhen's planning and development, and to be able to see how my own uh, vision of uh, Shenzhen 40 years ago um, has been exceeded uh, in many, many ways and many, many times over. Well, it was um, pretty barren at that time, uh, with a sparse population of about 20,000. When we were asked to help, um, we were volunteers doing a pro bono for the country, uh, plan the first city plan of Shenzhen Special Economic Zone. Uh, the pop population target, so we were told, was Shenzhen Daozhen. Uh, we had a good debate with um, the Shenzhen officials, and we said, where on earth would you get 300,000 people to come and live here? And, and now, as we know, it's well over 10 million uh, people. So that's very impressive. That, that really uh, gives you a sense of the speed of development of the city. Um, it's totally historic and totally unprecedented. I can't think of another city uh, anywhere in the world that has that kind of speed. Such has been Shenzhen's remarkable rise. There's now a temptation to compare it to Hong Kong, and many commentators are doing this. Is this fair? Well, the two cities are actually very different. And I think the, uh, the differences between Hong Kong and Shenzhen make us a very good partners, and we have been in the last 40 years, uh, to mutual benefits. Um, and I think going forward in the next 40 years um, or 100 years, I, I think we'll continue uh, to work uh, together. Without Shenzhen, Hong Kong's manufacturing sector would not have been able to expand um, in terms of its total volume. And without Shenzhen, we, have, we would not be able to uh, relinquish uh, part of the resources and redeploy re the resources that were previously engaged in the manufacturing sector uh, to develop uh, our uh, high value added uh, services uh, sector. Um, and even if you look at the financial uh, sector, uh, which people talk about uh, quite a lot in uh, Shenzhen nowadays, and, and say if Shenzhen uh, goes, ahead, goes ahead and develops its own financial services sector, would it impede uh, Hong Kong's own uh, development? I say no, uh, because if you look at the content of the financial services sector now, it is actually quite focused on, for example, commercial banking um, and um, the stock market. And if you look at the insurance sector, it's basically sort of life insurance. Um, so we are very uh, focused, and, and the sectors, uh, subsectors, are, are pretty narrow. With Shenzhen, we can expand the financial services sector together. Uh, and we, would, we could become something like New York or London, Tokyo, Osaka.